Wow, that was an experience. Greetings and a welcome a fellow horror enthusiasts. I have just gone off from playing my final chapter of Unshattered Destination. And boy, was I surprised at playing this. Actually, do I still even have a bit of my VR face? I might still even have a little bit of VR face going on there. Sorry about that. Yeah, okay, so... In this little review, we are going to have a little quick um, end of game review of Unshattered Destination, which is currently free uh, and it's on um, VR chat, so it can be played both in VR and can be played on, uh, on VR headsets as well. Uh, mostly on the Quest or Vive or PC VR. So if you've got Quest, Vive or PC VR, this is totally free. You just need to get VR chat. Download uh, um, uh, Unshattered. De sorry, download VR Chat. Load up uh, Unshattered Destination, and man, you are in for a surprise. Now, I am going to talk about all f um, all things, so there may be some spoilers here, including the codes for the different chapters, which I will put up, uh, which which I will put up behind me, uh, as you can see up here. Now. The storyline goes uh, for Uncharted Destination is basically you are this story writer uh, and your stories haven't been going so well of late. So you need some inspiration. You need some inspiration to you find this house that you want to, uh, this haunted mansion. You get a message from a, a weird stranger that you call a friend, so not necessarily a stranger but more of a friend. Uh, you get a message from this friend and he says, look, you want some inspiration for some stories. Go to this nice haunted mansion and just let your ro mind roam rampant. Okay, but as you get into the, ha uh, the haunted mansion, you find that it is not all, it is not as, as it's supposed to as it seems when you start receive when you start receiving these phone calls um, and making phone calls to odd people that say in this house there is no happiness in this house it's full of terror and actually uh, bad things basically happen bad things uh, and they start happening to you as you start seeing things like ghosts uh, horror murder rep um, uh, all sorts of levels of insanity and depravity well, I wouldn't say depravity it's not really that bad but yeah okay sorry ah calm down calm down calm down yeah <laughs> sorry the other uh, um, like I said I really did quite enjoy this uh, enjoy, enjoy this game in fact I pull it up as one of the most scariest or one of the most terrifying games that I have played on VR, period. And considering my history of stuff that I've done, that is saying something. Now, but I was gonna say, that, that is from my point of view. I really did enjoy this. I mean, I, I, I played games like Impatient, uh, and it's more or less, okay, yeah. So on, what's next? Oh, that guy turned into a, a banshee, and uh, or I apparently ate this person, or you get like your jump scares from Five Nights at Freddy's, and say, oh yeah, go on, give me the jump scares, or, or let's just say when you go into uh, Resident Evil, and you start looking down into like the deep dark passages, and you hear the growling and the noise and the terror, uh, or you get like that music theme. This game takes all of that everything the music the sounds the story the jump scares the absolute terror and puts it into one neat little game of four chapters and yeah the so chapter one basically you start going in and you just uh you start seeing all these weird shit that's going down um so you start seeing all this weird shit and going down and you have to try and work out 
like there's puzzles in there that okay the puzzles aren't that um, aren't that uh, challenging but considering that you've got like ghosts that are uh, ghosts or monsters that are chasing you down uh, which make which makes the trying to solve some of the puzzles actually quite hard they, uh, and that element is in every single one of these like I said the uh, the sounds are spot on they are designed to induce fear into every for every single sound it's not just like the odd creaking of the footsteps in an empty house and you're wondering what that is but the the music in there perfect perfect to give you like an example Alfred Hitchcock this is a study in how horror should be and how terror should be implemented in games uh, and without actually any any threat at all such as like as I said Alfred Hitchcock once did this scene where you look watching a, uh, a girl scoot down a, a, uh, on, a girl on a scooter going down a passageway or a path then you hear some like this creeping music. She goes down the path further, the music intensifies, she turns the corner, the music gets really intense, he goes down a further corner, turns around another corner, the music is intense, it's really getting to you, you think what's gonna happen? She turns another corner, down the end, you see the sound coming up, and then nothing, no payoff. But you were really on your feet because the music put you in that. And that and this game does that time and time again. And I love it. It is really cool. It is really awesome. How they managed to put you, how the sounds in here put you right into your place. And then there are sometimes where it just gets really right up there and in your face and just screams at you, just like some of like these sound effects that are just really designed to introduce absolute terror and fear. And yeah, like I said, this game has got it all. It's got the sound, it's got the chapter. Each chapter, basically, as I said, as I said earlier, this game is done in four different chapters. Each chapter is about an hour long in play in, in gameplay. Well, my playthrough, I play really quite slowly. I'm sure a couple of you can uh, speed through that in like 10 minutes or less. But uh, yeah, when I played this, I played each level uh, at about, uh, at my normal rate, and I did each level at about an hour a level. But except for the last level, I think the last, well, actually, yeah, the last level took about an hour because I spent ages figuring out, trying to figure out I, did, I needed to click on something which I couldn't click on. But then, as I said, more spoiler warnings. As the game progresses, in the, the character that you play, you kind of, like I said, you see all this horror and all this, uh, all this stuff that's going on that you're trying to run away from screaming. The little girl that basically poisoned her own parents with the uh, 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 with rat poison and then proceeded to drown herself which I kind of looked at as if this was real um, and if the police came to see it they would say that okay the parents kind of drowned and killed drowned their own daughter and then killed themselves in a suicide pact because they were upset about drowning their daughter but in the end it was the ghost telling the daughter to kill their parents and, and then the ghost killed the daughter but yeah um, what was I saying oh yeah <laughs> stuff yeah after seeing after seeing all this we discovered like there's this person on the wall uh, that's trying to lead everything going from one thing to another and that person the real twist is you the whole thing is basically you delving into the mind, delving into your own insanity, uh, and you've been spending months there, whilst your mind has just been flooded with banshees, ghosts, Lian Shi, the, de uh, the 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 evil demons of the Fae, and and basically all this 
enchantments and uh, demons and such is just in your own mind and that is what is making your own story great uh, and I it's not the first time I've seen this sort of twist or, or the first time that I saw that seen this sort of development but I kind of like this sort of development because it's the development of the writer that goes into his own mind to develop goes the, the insanity or the madness of the writer as they go into their own mind to try to write their own stories such as like Lovecraftian where you get the great god Cthulhu that's uh, basically de uh, demons from the abyss and beyond uh, all sorts of manner of hellish demons what sort of mind can come up with these sort of things and it's the own writers uh, writers depth and depravity and well not well, not really depravity but their own insanity that brings forth such images that they put down on paper for us the consumer to read and I like that considering at one point I even tried to adapt that, that my, myself because there was so much that was going through my own mind that you just wanted to write it and put it on paper yeah, I kind of like spent two years trying to write a book and uh, it was absolutely crap. No one bought it, but hey ho. But yeah, overall review, I give this game four and a half chainsaws with a total of two severed thumbs right up. Go play it, download VR Chat if you haven't got it, check out Unchained Destination if you have not, se uh, if you have not seen it play it and I'm sure if you are a horror enthusiast like me try to keep calm don't let the madness in <laughs> bye